Toyota, Toyota, Toyota. Slik starter den Toyota. Ja, Toyota, ja, Toyota. Hi, it's coming on. This is how I removed the interior door trim panels, the door cards, on a 91 High Ace Toyota van to do some soundproofing and rustproofing. Started by removing anything that's in the pocket of the door and pried off that one screw cap there to expose the screw. And I'll just get the Phillips screwdriver, and there are several screws throughout, one in that little door hole, door handle. And I use that to retain all my screws while I'm doing this so I don't lose them. So that one out, there's one up under there. One on the bottom. And there's a little tiny one up in there. And you got to be careful not to crack that as you pry it out kind of gently, wiggle it to get it out. They crack really easily. They're little thin pieces of plastic. That one's already cracked, so... Wondering if I can repair that, but not right now. Then the last thing to come out is the window crank. There's a little U-shaped retaining clip in there. And you just use a pliers or a hook tool to take it out. There's that little U-shaped clip. And I'm just noting the angle of the crank for reinstall. The position of it. And there's a nylon washer behind it. And to get the door cards out, you just pull away from the body of the door to pop those clips. I think there are about four or five of them in there. And when those are loose, you pull out and up. You can see those white round trim clips on the back. Then I'll just use that crank to crank the window up, get it out of the way, and cut some holes in the plastic so I can access the inside. Then I'll use acetone to clean out any dust or grease or anything that's accumulated inside these panels. And that gives a really good clean surface for these kill mat panels to stick to. And so by using the access holes, I'm able to reach inside and position the, pat the kill mat where it needs to go on the panel. Do any adjustments make any cuts that I have to make and then I peel off the back starting on the top and get the panel stuck in place and peel the rest of it off and push it down with the roller. There's a little roller they try to sell you when you buy the panels but I already had this one I think it's called a trim roller it's just a little rubber roller for rolling floor seams and stuff like that seam roller trim roller and it was small enough to get in there, so it worked really good, so I didn't have to buy the one. And I'm just doing some measurements for that last panel, the height and width of it. I had to cut that one, and I can bend it just like the rest, put it inside. And get that back peeled off, and it sticks down. These things, they stick really, really good. They really hug the contours. And then I'm just spraying some some rust inhibitor down there, some rust checks, the liquid spray into the bottom seam of that door since I'm in here. And then tape it up with some tuck tape just so no dust or anything comes through when you're driving. Tape up the rest of those seams. Make sure it's good and tight. And then we're ready to put the panel back on. Just drop that card in over the top. Where the window comes up, the panel hooks in. And just tap those uh, retaining clips into place. Screw in the door handle. And add that top screw and the um, cover for it. And then carefully put that trim piece back around and tighten that really small screw carefully. And then to put the window crank back on, you set that clip that's spring-loaded, get it in place on the spline and push it in, it'll click in. Then you just double-check the orientation and the operation of the window crank and fine-tune the sealer on the top and you're done. Toyota, 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 Schlick starter den Lota, Ja, Lota, Ja, Lota. 
Feies kommer nå, kommer nå. Helt ny kassevogn på høyt nivå.